Hi everybody, Dan Oldman here taking a look at the feature race at Asinaboya Downs on Monday, August the 21st. It's race number four, the Phil Kiva Stakes. $40,000 is the purse. This race is for Manitoba Breads going one mile. Let's take a look at this field. You've got several horses coming out of a local prep race, and that was a restricted allowance at the Downs on August the 1st. Crown Royal came from off the pace to beat several of these with McCaig not too far behind. Remember that race number four at the Downs, the Phil Kiva Stakes, is the first leg of the 20 cent ASD jackpot pick five carryover going into Monday's jackpot wager already over $47,000. Race number five at the Downs is the first leg of the $1 pick four with a $50,000 guaranteed pool. Let's take a look at the Timeform U.S. Pace Projector for this year's edition of the Phil Kiva Stakes. And I think this is key because there have been fast paces in the last few starts of the number two, Persibility, who is a speed type, and there's a chance that there's going to be a fast pace again, according to Timeform US, because the three Del Vecchio is a horse stretching out in distance after chasing some fast sprint fractions. Those two could go at it. It could set things up for the closers. One of those closers took advantage of a fast pace last time. That's the number one, Crowned Royal. Let's watch Crowned Royal beat three of these horses in his most recent start two weeks ago. The pace was very fast for the seven and a half furlong distance. Crowned Royal and McCaig have a very exciting stretch battle with Crowned Royal getting up to win. Lucky Chucky was far, far behind in third. Now, Crowned Royal did benefit from the fast pace. There is a chance that there's going to be another fast pace for him. We know he's in good form. And I think one of the keys for Crown Royal's success last time out was that they stretched him back out in distance. He's always been a very consistent horse sprint but perhaps this is a new dimension for Crown Royal, that if you give him a good setup, if you give him the right trip and the right base flow, Crown Royal can be successful going these extra longer distances. One mile should be fine for him given the right setup. I think we'll get it. The two is Persibility, and Pace makes the race for Persibility. If you want to be forgiving of his last two races, please do so because he's going to be a price in this race and he'll be among the early leaders. In his last two starts, he was embroiled in fast-paced duels. The fractions were fast, he never got a breather, he was pressured, and he tired. You go back to his start three back, he was able to walk on the lead. Take a look at the fractions for that race compared to his last two. He went about 15 lengths slower to the half mile pole, and he was able to sprint on home. The situation is likely to be the former in this spot. The pace is likely to be fast. That could work against Persibility, a horse who is quick, but is going to have to get a little bit of a breather against this strong field. Del Vecchio is first off the claim and back sprint is stretching out in distance. And when you go all the way back to his performances as a three-year-old back at Marquee Downs, he was able to win at a mile back then. He's been at seven and a half a few times in his career with some success. I don't think the distance is going to be an issue. And I don't think he's necessarily in need the lead type. I know Time from US has him on the lead. I think there's a chance he's going to break. He's going to let the two person ability go. He's going to be sitting second. He'll be the first one to pounce at about the 516th pole, and then we'll see how the pace and race dynamics have worked either for him or against him. Del Vecchio first off the claimer and a good figure two starts back, a 73 buyer when winning an option, optional claimer. Lucky Chucky is the number four. He finished far behind last time out, and he was close to that fast pace compared with some of the others, but he was still beaten 13 lengths. So in two weeks, he has to make up 13 lengths on on some of these other horses. He was a sharp winner three starts back when he was able to get up close to the pace, relax, and sprint on home. He does have some upside potential. He's going to be a price in this race, but he does have to improve to beat McCaig and, of course, the horse down on the rail, Crowned Royal. As for McCaig, that was a very game performance last time out, getting back out to seven and a half furlongs. The race flow was there for him. He just, just missed by a head. He's nine to five on the morning line here. And compared to the price on Crown Royal, I mean, Crown Royal is 5-1. to one. Crown Royal just beat him last time out. Maybe McCaig's 9-5 to five morning line is a little bit too short. He is a very consistent horse. It seems like he's hit the board just about every start for a long, long time. This is his fourth start of 2023, and maybe he's just racing himself back into shape with this race being a goal all along. He'll get the right setup. He'll be running on at the end. Let's take a look at the six, Private Frank's most recent start. This is an open two-life allowance at the Downs going 7.5 back in July, and this was his first time going long. He had gone no 
no further than six furlongs in his first four lifetime starts, and the extra distance was no problem for odds-on Private Frank, who relaxed very nicely in the early part of the race, and then just was too much for those horses to win, as an odds-on favorite should. His buyer speed figures continue to move forward. That was a 65, and while it's a little bit light compared with the sum of the others in this field, Private Frank is a lightly raced three-year-old, has all the upside in the world. He can pop perhaps a career best buyer speed figure, given the right race flow and trip in the Phil Kiva stakes. I don't think this outside post works against him at all, and I think with his tactical speed, he's going to let the early pace setters go. He's going to tuck in, and maybe with his upside, he'll be stronger than horses than McCaig and, of course, Crown Royal. I think we've seen those horses' best races. I'm not sure we've seen Private Frank's best race just yet. We take a look at my top selections for the Phil Kiva stakes. Crown Royal just beat several of these last time out. He did get a good trip. He did get the right race flow, but at the morning line odds of 5 to 1, I just think he's the right value in this race. So I'm going to go back to the exacta from the local prep race. Crown Royal over McCaig. Interesting to see what we get from Private Frank in the Phil Kiva stakes. Remember, this is the first leg of the 20 cent ASD jackpot pick 5. Carry over already over 47,000 going into Monday's card. One dollar pick four begins with race number five, $50,000 guaranteed pool. Good luck.